guys, how's it going? Uh, just heading out for another day of calls. Been pretty busy. Uh, both of us have been working uh, every day, all day, and it's a good thing. So we're making money and business is good. So we've gotten uh, some property management companies on board and haven't had any problems uh, with them or anything. They've been giving us work. We've been doing plenty of retail customers, uh, regular customers. And uh, so the advertising that we've been doing, all the marketing has been uh, really paying off. Several installs for us this year and really just overall a good year. And can't, uh, can't tell you how happy I am that that first year is, is done in the bank and um, looking forward to 2017 and man I just want to keep growing it make it bigger and better hire more people definitely looking at hiring another person in the summertime coming up um, I've had some people contact me and try to you know try to get hired from us now but I don't think I'm ready here in the winter time we had a guy um, who did come on board with us for a couple weeks and we had uh, and you know really he's just a, a guy that wanted to um, you know become a contractor on his own and I could have used the part-time help from him so we we're gonna take him on and he wanted to learn install, so he's a, he's a really good service tech and real good sales, but he didn't know install, and he wants to learn that for, you know, for his own company. So, um, so I was willing to, you know, I needed the part-time help. I know he's a good worker. I've worked with him before. So if he could help me out on the installs, he would also be learning at the same time and it was a win-win because I didn't really have the, uh, I didn't have the, the capacity of service calls to keep them busy full time. I want to, but I'm not quite there yet. So we're at about 130, 100, I think we're about 130 uh, service maintenance club members right now. So that's growing. You know, we've gone from zero to 130 in a year. And that's that's pretty damn good. I'm pretty happy with that. I need 240 to keep a, a tech busy all year. So, um, you know, Keith's going to be with me regardless whether the, we have the work or not because he's a manager for me, and um, and I you know I pay him I basically pay him a salary to to do the work whether the work's there or not. So it's a good gig for him. But I'd like to get to the point where we had 240 club members because then I know that I can keep a guy busy during the off season and during the uh, regular uh, on-demand service season. So that's what we're shooting for. That's the goals. And uh, I've learned a ton this year. Looking forward to another year of learning. We're gonna be going to the uh, ACHR um, convention in Las Vegas coming up here in uh, end of January. So I'm looking forward to going out there and rubbing elbows with uh, all the guys out there, all the owners and stuff that go out to that uh, convention. I've never been there before, so it looks like it's absolutely huge. And uh, I'm looking forward to going out there and seeing everything that's available. You know, I, I want to dive into other uh, parts of the industry, you know, but I don't know much about it. So that's gonna be a good avenue for us to go out and uh, check out uh, what's available out there to, to sell, you know. And then uh, once I get my mind on something, I go full speed at it. So if I run into something that know clicks with me then I'm gonna try and make it work so well I just kind of wanted to shoot this video I got the new GoPro Hero 4 that I'm shooting with now so uh, I'm hoping that this video comes out uh, good I had gotten this I had gotten the Hero 3 but there's one setting on it that I could not adjust 
and therefore I could not shoot good video with it was the field of view on the the little fisheye thing that you get when you shoot with GoPro. Uh, I had the uh, the field of view was not an option that you could adjust on the on the GoPro three, and so I bought it. I'm sitting there trying to adjust it, and I could not. So it always looks like you're in a fishbowl or shooting in a fishbowl when when you're shooting with that thing. So um, so I returned that and got returned that and got the uh, GoPro Hero Four Silver now. Um, the only thing I don't really care about that is the. The, the SD card on it is so freaking small like they're they're using like a little mini SD card and I don't know who they think is uh, shooting with these cameras but they're we're adults and we have big fingers and you got these little mini SD cards that you're trying to get into the slot stupid the regular SD cards were good enough size so I, I don't know but um, hey at least it's tech it's good technology and I'm able to shoot videos so we'll see how this goes stay tuned for more videos I appreciate you guys watching as always happy new year happy 2017 and may all of you reach your goals